Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. Thank you, sir, for the prayer. Sopluga on behalf de Avakar Kehi Amabrahi Milayna Katigna Kelai Divo Itehi Amikan Laga Sopluga symbolic Sopmanu Nimiti Ova I now request Aton and Athot to please come and take your time. Person who has given his everything for the Naga political issue to take up the challenge that Nagas are not lost people. You spare no effort to work on this line, and the world knows too well how you have gone through blood sweat and tears to save the Naga nation from being thrown into oblivion. You have played a magnificent role to let the world take cognizance of Nagas as a people and as a nation, beginning from your mission in China during the 1960s and 1970s and your successful international campaign in early 1990s when Nagalim was made the bona fide member of UNPO in 1993. Since then, you have left no stone unturned, cultivating the political legitimacy of the Naga Nation. Along with our late chairman, Isaac Chishisu, you achieved another milestone when you signed the history framework agreement with the government of India in August 3, 2015, the Naga people will remain indebted to you for years to come for defending the sovereignty identity of the Naga nation. Your groundbreaking foray into Naga political movement makes all the difference to us, making the NSN as the torch bearer of Naga political movement. It was because of your brand of revolutionary leadership that the government of India take notice of the Naga issue from correct perspective. Let us praise the Lord for giving you full life of 90 years and 60 years of divinely ordained visionary leadership. Kupnalim in Okyutuku. Thank you. A very happy birthday to our honorable Autokilonser Tis Moiwa. On this day of your 90th birthday and 60 years of consistent Naga national service, I would like to reflect some initial states of your activities. Soon after being elected as General Secretary NNC, you landed at my village then to Brigade Headquarters, which was located at Ngeptang, Konyak region. From there, you proceeded to 14 Patalin, which was at Totok village. You also 
presented one song at the gathering of Konyak Baptist Association, which was held at Langmeng Village near Apoi in 1966. And thereafter, you cross over to the other side of international border and went eastward to China. That was your first Ali Kaman. And since then, you have never looked back. In spite of all difficulties, you have accomplished all your missions successfully. In the process of long negotiation, you have made the Indian authorities understand the reality of our people and our nation and our history. As such, they have finally recognized our history as unique, which is a strong foundation for the new generation to come. You have fought a good fight. Thank you for all your hard work and sacrifices for our nation. May God bless you. May you live long with good hair and sound spirit. Happy birthday once again. Having said that, I remember weekly the song that he sang, he and his group used to sing before crossing, sweeping over to China. And I will try to reflect the song. I call upon my wife to come over. Before crossing over to China, the last song he sang in our country, we will try to uh, reflect. Down at the cross where my Savior died, down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to His name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood of Glory to his name. I'm so wondrous, he said from my sin. Jesus simply abide with VCMC, Long Bonagarmi. Right after that, I would invite Mr. K. Ung Chan, a veteran singer, composer, and a prayer warrior, also founder of Kelly Lee Choir. Please be prepared. Most of all, I like to praise God for this wonderful time, and I'm honored to stand here today 
I sometimes I feel like singing when everyone is singing. <clears throat> I will be especially relating on the journey after uh, our leaders when they came arrived from Kathmandu 1991. But the other story will be, of course, related by our uh, general team. I will be focusing much on how our leaders, they uh, struggle hard. In every nation, it is said and it is written in the Bible that without vision, without the right knowledge, without the right concept, a nation perish. In the same way, I have seen many nations, many revolution forces crumbling down, surrendering one by one because they lack knowledge, they lack vision. They don't have the right vision <coughs> and the right knowledge as said in Hosea 4.6, Proverbs 29, 18. Today, we are fortunate because our leader, I decided to call him Abakur. My encounter with him was in 1981, and since 1981, I have been with him. But particularly, I failed to know much who he is. But after my close acquaintance as his worker, I came to realize much that this must be the man whom God is seeking. This must be the person to liberate our people. And I would like to narrate this in a short way. In starting from 1991, and before that, you know the story, the first time, I mean, uh, going up from India to Aprot, he took the road of Kathmandu, and that was 91. And by the name, I think he might have forgotten the name, he put the name in the passport, Peter Rai. So we were traveling together with our leader, Ipu Aisetsu, and himself, and of course, our former leader, Aisetsu, was in one way a little bit smarter, and then he knows how to answer the you know, question before the immigration, pass through the immigration, and then when the time comes for uncle, they are asking him so many questions, and they ask him to wait and sit. So he sat down nearby. After a few while, the immigration officer, Nepali immigration officer, those days he can fly, Indian passport holder can fly from Nepal. So after the immigration, having confirmation, a lot of asking, inquiry, came back and asked him, asking for him. He was just sitting nearby the immigration desk counter. And the immigration officer was, you know, calling of his name, Peter Rye, Peter Rye. No, but it happens to be that that is not his name. <laughs> His name is different. No, he did not respond. And finally, the immigration officer came, you know, and scolded him. Isn't you, Peter Rai? Now, isn't you that, you know, showing the passport? Then the immigration asked him, inquired him again, what is your name? And then he wisely answered, my name is written in the passport. <laughs> because he has forgotten his name. <laughs> So that kind of immigration, finally, he was arrested, detained for a few hours. But by God's grace, he was, we flew, I mean, uh, peacefully in Bangkok. Now, many people think that the political campaign in the foreign seems to be like uh, chain form, high fi type, loaded with our money, equipped with many good things. The first I'd like to share with you is that we struggled from the stretch, having nothing. We rented only one room. We rented because we can't afford 
We rented only one room, and that is our kitchen, that is our tiny, our bedroom, everything. And in the room, there was only one bed, only one bed. And that bed, of course, is like a queen size, was given to our respected former president, uh, if I said so. And then, about her, myself, and Kunre Bam, we will sleep because in, on the floor. But even on the floor, it's not spacious enough to lay, uh, lay down and then stretch out our leg because it was too small. So we have to put our feet underneath the bed. Half body outside the bed, half body inside the bed. Uh, you just imagine. So that was the first moment that we struggled. Uh, putting our faith to God and committing everything. What I realized is that both of them, both of them were so committed, filled with the passion, filled with the cause. The only desire is to nationalize, internationalize the cause of the Naga nation in the international world. And many people think that when they travel even abroad, as I myself, most of the time we carry, you know what is the most secret weapon of our collective leadership uh, successful campaign? Many will say it's about money and this thing and this thing. But our successful, the most important weapon is Akuni, Pastenga, Nakarmicha, and I never forget Jasmine Rice, Thai Jasmine Rice. And we carry the uh, rice cooking pot. Wherever we go, we take it along. And that's how they will always look for the cheapest hotel, for the cheapest food, for everything. And that is the time, how miraculous, everywhere they go under the leadership, if I said so, under the leadership of Akrar, wherever they go, people welcome them. And they share not only the uh, political history the rights of the Natas, but they share about the faith of Natalie for Christ. They share about the, the faith and the existence of Naka before heaven and earth. So knowing that faith, mainly in the international world, they supported them. And that's how even is uh, mentioned in 2000, uh, 1993, the first time when our flag was raised in Anpo in Den Haag, in 23 January, it was through their selfless effort, sacrifice, and everything. Honorable Adolf Kilan, sir, His Excellency, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to sing a song for his 90th birthday anniversary. The song is written by Abakr Adolf Kilan, sir. Generation comes and goes. Music composed by myself. Generation comes and goes. Organization comes and goes. Him. He wants 
service to our nation, Naka Nation. You are an inspiration and I hope you have many years to keep up the good work. Thank you for your brave and fearless leadership. You are an incredible role model for all those seeking to understand how to make an impact with their life. Don't ever stop fighting for what you believe in. I thank you for your Naga national service to our nation. On your 90th birthday, we are proud to call you our leader. General Secretary and Otto Kilasa, Tish Mwabase, you have exhibited uncommon wisdom, remarkable visions, and exemplary leadership. I wish you peace and good health and happiness. We are proud to be a part of your momentous and extraordinary special day. It is an honor to be wishing you a happy 60 years of Naga National Service and 90 years birthday celebration. You lead the way and light up the part of all of us that follow you. We just want to thank you for a remarkable service towards the Naga Nation's building. You have done and let you know how much we appreciate the phenomenal <coughs> change you have made. <coughs> My 
my dear friends, in these joyous celebrations. On behalf of Nakahoho and on, on my behalf, I appeal to each and every, uh, every one. Together, let us pray to our living God to grant us his wisdom so that we will be a great nation. We are believers of Christ. We are baptized person. During baptism, we share in the persons of Christ. And we are baptized through Holy Spirit. So, our body becomes temple of the Holy Spirit. Let us be honest in our all walk of life and walk with Jesus. True, let us throw away our creed. Together, let us create feeling of oneness among the Naka society, wherever we are. Together, let us build a strong Naka nation. Koknalim, thank you. As he marks his 90th birthday and commemorates 60 years of unwavering dedication and service to his people. A man whose life story embodies the very essence of resilience, courage, and unwavering determination. It is with great reverence and gratitude that we reflect upon the profound impact he has had on our collective journey towards freedom. From childhood, Mr. Moiva has been a patriot and a Naga nationalist, deeply committed to the cause of Naga freedom. He believed it was the inherent birthright of the Naga people to determine their own destiny, free from external interference or oppression. His unwavering dedication to this principle has been the driving force behind his decades-long struggle for justice and sovereignty. The many years of the Naga peace process and political negotiation has come thus far under his able and firm leadership at the negotiating table. We fervently hope for an honorable solution and resolution which will be inclusive, just in the days ahead for the Nagas. Very happy birthday to our leader, Atok Launcer, T.H. Moiva, and on his um, 90th birthday, as well as his diamond year, 60 years of national service. I thank God for giving us, in the person of our leader, T.H. Moiva, who guide us, lead us, and also educate us for our national cause. Words are inadequate to express our gratitude and thankfulness for the sacrifices that he has rendered to the Naga people. It is on this historic day. It is good that we celebrate, we salute, and we celebrate his life. The Naga Mothers Association on this historic day would like to implore God's blessings upon our leader for good life, long life, good health, protection from God, and may he live long 